Hey YouTube, I want to show you how to get more fonts for your Cricut Design Space for free. What you're going to do is make sure everything's closed out on your computer because you don't want Design Space open. That way it can um, reload your fonts as you add them. So just go to wherever you go to your internet. Go to dafont.com, defont.com. Once you get there, you will see all these different types of fonts. Anything you could want. If you know a font name, you can search up here for whatever font um, you like. There's a Walt Disney World one. Let's see if I can just do Walt and see if it'll um, pick up what I want. Yeah, so you see all these different kinds. You can take and type in what you want. Like if you want a name, you can type in the name and then press submit and it will write it in the font that way you can see like how it looks so let's say I like this one I've already got this Waldegraph um, downloaded so I'm not gonna pick that one let's see we'll try this one Walter by Fontomen and see, it um, made a little zip file down here. Yours may come up somewhere else, but you'll see a little file with a zipper. What you're going to press is Extract All. Press Extract, and it'll bring up a new thing. Um, if you see, like, a bunch of different files, click on the one that says True Type Font File. It'll always say, like, True Type Font File. That's the one you need. So we're going to click on that, and you'll see Install. Press Install, and it will install it to um, your Cricut Design Space. As you see, that says Walter. So we're going to go to our Cricut Design Space now, and we're going to see if it uploaded Walter to my fonts. So open up Cricut Design Space. We're going to act like we're going to make a new project right here. And go to your text. And let's look for the Walter. You can search or you can, um, there it is, or you can um, just scroll down and try to find it. Okay, there you have your new font. I hope this helped and sometimes it'll look great on thefont.com but then when you put it in the spacing of the letters will be off. I've been trying to find a good font for the word butterfly and for some reason it leaves so much space between the T's that I have to redo it. So you can do this for letter spacing if you want them to be closer together and stuff like that. So just work around and play with it and find fonts you like. Um, I always add a bunch at one time before I open my design space. That way I have a few different options to try so that if I upload one and I don't really like it, I haven't wasted all that time. I can uh, pick a new one, you know, that I downloaded. So I hope this helps. Don't pay for fonts. You don't have to. Um, just go to defont.com. And I think um, you can actually, if you wanted to like leave them donations and things, I think you can do that on the website. It's a really neat website, so go check it out, and thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day.